when you talk of text activities it simply means writing writing something with the right tool and the tool we use here is called text tool and it is represented by t t so on your left hand side you see t so you click on the t you come to your work you 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 click on your paper then you write you write maybe your name so my name is rich may so i type rich may after typing on top you see the tick uh, symbol so you tick after ticking it like this click on move then zoom your work zoom you could see some small small boxes at the edges eh? the boxes we have to use the edges the one at the edges the four one the four at the edges when you click on the edges one you click then you drag you see when you click on the edges the one at the edges you can drag down at the same time you can drag to your left or your right if only you use the side one if you don't use this the edges the one at the edges and use the one in the middle you can only drag it up the one in the in the middle you can only drag it up and the one middle down you can only drag it down and the one at your left hand side the middle one it can only go this direction and the one at the right side middle one can only go this direction but the one at the edges when you click and hold you can bring it down you can take it to your left side the same way when you come to the right side at the edge when you take the edge one you can take it up you can take it to the next uh, to your le right or left hand side like this so you see so with this work you need to do a lot of zooming you need to zoom your work it shouldn't be or it shouldn't be like this it shouldn't be too long like this we don't write like this are you watching and it shouldn't be that too short like this so it should be normal it should be normal i think this is normal then you tick after taking um if you want to work on it click on t on your keyboard t or you go and click the t symbol then you work on it so you could see on top yeah we have um some box on top here if your own is not at area click on the the drop down arrow there you could see some drop down arrow here click on it and look for area make sure your own is area when you click on area on on the right hand side you could see bold or narrow or italic select bold we'll be using area for now don't use any other font we are using area and it's the best for this particular training so after this you can color your work and you can give your work stroke you can give your work a reasonable stroke so you have your name written like this nicely